Not New Year's just yet, but certainly time to start anew in Chicago. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz. Glad to be with you on the sports update presented by Toyota. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas, or if that's not your holiday, just had a very nice day off. As usual, Christmas Day, not a ton of stories developing, but the day after is time to pick it up again, and that's what the Bulls need to do as well. Tonight marks the first game for Chicago without fired head coach Scott Skiles. Bulls in San Antonio to take on the Spurs, and we'll go under interim coach Pete Myers. Team said it will most likely not hire a head coach until after the season is over. They've had three straight playoff appearances after a six-year drought, and it certainly gave fans high expectations, but heading into Wednesday, the Bulls were sixth worst in the NBA at 9-6. and six. So they're in San Antonio to take on the West's best, but two of the other top teams headline Christmas Day with a scoring fest, 122-115 Lakers win. Andrew Bynum, a career-high 28 points, helping Kobe Bryant, who scored 38, the majority of those in the second half. Two of the five Lakers that were in double figures, helping LA win its ninth in the last 11. 11 also a number for Portland, as in consecutive wins. Also won on Christmas Day, knocking off the Sonics by 10. Portland has won 12 consecutive games on December 25th. Meanwhile, the Indianapolis Star Tuesday reported that Colts backup quarterback Jim Sorge will play, quote, at least a half in Sunday night's game against the Titans. Colts have the two seed locked up and will play plenty of backups in a game with no meaning at all for the defending Super Bowl champs. But all the meaning in the world of the Titans. A win in Indianapolis and Tennessee is back in the playoffs after a three-year absence and the first time under Vince Young. Titans opened up as the favorite against the Colts, despite the fact that Indy is 13-2 and has won eight of the last nine against Tennessee. So here's the AFC playoff picture. A Tennessee win, and they're in because they'd have the tiebreaker over the Browns, who blew their own control in Sunday's loss at Cincinnati. Only thing else yet to be determined, the three and four seeds, San Diego and Pittsburgh in the spots, but a Steelers win and a Chargers loss flip-flops the two as they head into the playoffs. All right, seventh bowl game of the season, Central Michigan and Purdue in the Motor City Bowl presented by Chrysler. The Chippewas won the MAC for a second straight year, led by quarterback Dan LaFever, who this year joined Vince Young as the only college quarterbacks to ever throw for 3,000 yards and run for 1,000 in the same season. Second meeting of the year between the two teams, Boilermakers won the first 45-22 back in September in West Lafayette. All right, so that'll do it for the sports update presented by Toyota for Tuesday, um, excuse me, Wednesday, December 26th. Again, hope you had a very great holiday season. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.